Hello friends, welcome to our channel. So in today's session, let us have a look on nested structures. So in the previous session, we have seen the structured structure definition and then how to declare a structure variables and how to initialize the structure variables in the compile time as well as in the runtime and how to access the members of a structure by using the structure variables. So for accessing the members of a structure, we require a structure variable and the dot operator. So with the, with the means of these two, we will access the members of a structure. So this structure can be defined anywhere in the program. So it can be written outside the main function or inside the main function. So the structure will be having one tag name and with reference to that tag name, we will declare the structure variables. So in today's session, let us have a look on nested structures. That means a structure variable as a member of a structure. So we are declaring a structure variable as a member of another structure. So let us have a look. Now the problem here is, so I want to uh, create or define a structure of a student, the same student. So as we have taken in the previous session, an example, the student which, which is having ID, name, so id, name and date of birth, so date of birth, DOB. So in the date of birth, again, we will have the day, month and year. So this is the structure we need to create. So either we can take a student or an employee. So student ID, student name and student date of birth. In this state of student date of birth, there must be day, month and year. So for this, we need to define two structures and we have to declare one structure variable as a member of another structure. So first we have to create this student structure with the name, ID, name and date of birth again this date of birth is again defined as a structure with the members of day month and year so we will create the date of birth structure variable as a member of a structure see let us write here now define the structure first uh, let us define the structure date of birth and then structure student so because we are declaring the date of birth variable structure variable as a member of a structure student so i am writing the struct dob i am taking the tag name as dob so in the dob int day next we can write int month or simply we can write a character month of 20 because if you want to give the characters we have to write a character added. Next, int year. So close the structure. So here just we have defined a structure but not the structure variable. Now create the structure for a student. Struct student. Here student is a tag name. So in the student, we need three members. One is int id next one name so i have to create uh, declare a character array. character name of 20 and the third one is dob so dob again it's a structure now as a member of a student we have to declare the dob structure variable so in order to create a structure variable or in order to declare a structure variable, we need to take the reference of tag name. So here I am declaring a structure variable struct dob d1. So here this d1 
have declared the d1 that means a structure variable as a member of another structure so i am closing here so i am closing the structure now i am writing the main function main i am creating the structure variable struct student so here i am not i have not declared any structure variable for this student so struct student s1 so the same logic if you the s1 will be having id name and date of birth again this date of birth is having day month and year so in order to access the members of a structure we need a structure variable and the dot operator so in, in order to access the id s1 dot id in order to access the name s1 dot name in order to access the d1 s1 dot d1 again here d1 is a structure variable so it have to follow the structure of date of birth so here there are three members so in order to access the three, the three members again you have to use the dot operator d1 dot day d1 dot month d1 dot year so in order to access the student with d1 s1 dot d1 dot day s1 dot d1 dot month s1 dot d1 dot year a simple logic in order to access the members of a structure we require the structure variable and the dot operator only by means of dot operator only we will access the members of a structure so here also we are accessing the member of a structure with the dot operator s1 dot d1 so here s1 dot d1 again here d1 is a structure variable so it have to follow day month and year so how to access this day d1 dot day d1 dot month d1 dot year so it will be s1 dot d1 dot day s1 dot d1 dot month s1 dot d1 dot year so it will access the members of a structure by using the structure variable which is declared as a member of another structure so the rest of the program is similar so after writing that just read the values so for reading the values write the scanf function print f enter id is equal to percentage d amazent s1 dot id sorry 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 enter the id so we have to write the scanf function scanf s1 dot id sorry in the scanf we have to write the control space for here so percentage d s1 dot id oh it's clear so next if you want to access the name try down printf name is again use the scanf scanf percentage yes name sorry yes one dot name in order to access the date of birth printf enter date of birth scanf percentage d percentage d percentage d so we need to access three members so s1 dot d1 dot day s1 dot d1 dot month s1 dot d1 dot year so three values so uh, sorry i have to use the ampersand symbol so e in the scan right so now if you want to print the same just write the printf id is equal to percentage d s1 dot id next printf name is equal to percentage yes s1 dot name next printf date of birth is equal to percentage d hyphen percentage d hyphen percentage d comma s1 dot d1 dot day s1 dot d1 dot month 
Similarly, S1 dot, B1 dot, here. Close the braces. This is a simple program for and a best example for nested structure. Taking the date of birth, so which is having again three members, day, month, and year. So we are declaring the variable structure variable as a member of another structure. So hope you understood this is a simple procedure of a nested structure. And we can write in one more way that is if we can directly write this structure in the place of structure variable. That means so hope you understood this procedure. Now I will show you the second case how, how we can implement the structure within the structure. So this part can also be written as struct student int id character name of 20 so 20 characters now instead of creating a structure variable define a structure here itself so struct dev date of birth int day int month int year close the brace declare one structure variable here close the semicolon close the structure of student and semicolon so this is an alternate way of implementing the nested structure so we can use any one among these two both are the correct so we can write a these structures separately and we, we are declaring the structure variable inside the structure here we are defining a structure and inside the structure itself we are defining the another structure so both are equal so hope you understood this simple program for the nested structures so if you like my videos share my videos with your friends and do subscribe to my channel for more videos and if you are having any doubts regarding the c program feel free to post your doubts in the comment section and uh, thanks for listening thank you very much